And the reason why we blow the shofar on the holiest of days, on Rosh Hashanah, the new year, is twofold. The first one is to remember the sacrifice that Abraham was called upon God to bring his child Yitzchak and to sacrifice him. And when he was going to do the act to show his love for God, the angel stopped him and told him that you, by doing your action, you showed your love for God. And instead of killing his son, he would take a ram that was stuck in the bushes with his horn, and he sacrificed the ram instead. And he took the shofar, and he blew it to show his love for God and that everybody should hear that God is one. And the second interpretation is that if you hear the sounds of the shofar, the first long sound, then three, and then nine, and then the longest one at the end, almost depicts someone crying, where they start slowly, then they break down, and then they completely break down, and at the end, a cry, loud cry, which is describing a little bit of our hearts when we stand in front of God on the days of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, on the days of atonement. And when we do that, we, our heart cries out to God for forgiveness, for a life of health, prosperity, and family and community.